Greetings, Alan Matthews here, and let's talk about how to clap and count 16th notes. Whenever you see 16th notes, how do you count those? This is how to do it. One iana, two iana, three iana. So the big beat, typically the first one of each bar will be the number. That's a number, that's a number, that's a number. You can see down here, it's numbers. And then the and is going to be the eighth note. So there's the ands in the middle. And then to do the 16th notes on either side of those, then we have E for the first 16th and A uh for the second. So one and two and one E and a uh, two E and a. Uh. And once you do this with a little bit of practice, then it becomes much easier one E and a two E and a. And that um, if you have, let's just say an eighth and two sixteenths like this, then you can just imagine that that's there. This is going to be the downbeat, one. This is gonna be the and, and then that's gonna be the uh. So when you do that, you can still say E in there. So one, E, and, uh, two. So whenever you're clapping and counting the rhythms, what you can do to make things easier on yourself is to say, or to make you learn faster, is to say the ones that are actually in the music loud and the ones that are not, quietly, but continue to say one E and a two E and a three E and a the whole time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So regardless of what I'm clapping, I'm constantly saying one E and a two E and a three E and I'm saying them all regardless of what is clapping, but then saying it louder for the ones that are clapped with as well, that are actually the rhythm of the music. So I hope that that helps. That's how to clap and count 16th notes, one E and a if you've enjoyed this, please do subscribe to this channel and best of luck in your music.